Welcome back to the Jeep Journals. Thank you so much for riding along with me on this amazing adventure. Now, that song has a lot of emotion to it. Even though, as you saw, I'm trying to enjoy the heck out of learning to sing, uh, especially with you guys. And by you guys, I mean my friends, you know? This is, this is one of those things where especially during this era, as we find ourselves more and more isolated, where we're able to break down into our groups of similarities and differences, and to have these discussions that oftentimes bring about vast transformations among one another. Because throughout this lifespan, not only are we students, but we're also teachers. Even when we were students, we were teachers, oftentimes reciprocating knowledge back and forth with our educators. And the only era in which that seems to have started to become increasingly challenged is this era where we face each other less and less often. So for this particular guitar, which is the final acoustic guitar that I wanna present, officially in this series. This is a Yamaha FGX 
B1. It's a bamboo guitar and it's made of a sustainable resource. And this is something that was toyed with by the Yamaha Corporation. And when I say toyed with, what I mean is there's another corporation that's making a guitar that has made a guitar recently. If you do a search, if you do a search for the Martin, I think it's the 00L and it's Earth, L is in Lima. If you do a search for Martin 00L Earth, you'll find a guitar that's certified 100% something or another, probably sustainable resources or uh, non-intrusive uh, carbon offset resources. And then they also indicate that the guitar is the first to be 100% free of glue. Now, this guitar is bamboo. To me, that's even more amazing. And at the same time, what if this bamboo guitar could be made without any glue? And it could also be certified in that other category that I don't know the name of off the bat. It's an acronym. But what if all of those neat ideas could be incorporated together? What if we could sing a song together that resonated just at the right frequency to where someone understood what was being talked about? So in this particular episode, I think I'm going to change the order of some of the presentations. And because of the fact that we're approaching Lent and because of an idea that I had last night, I thought, wouldn't it be neat if some fans of music who also happen to be fans of spirituality on whatever level we claim to be fans of that spirituality, wouldn't it be neat if we could sing a song together where many of us started out during this Lent, this recognized Lent season in this nation where we're at, where I'm at, and wherever we're at, if we can understand that less is oftentimes more and that more sustainable is also more in the mindset of what peace is all about, then perhaps we could also come to a conclusion that we don't need to be shelling out the big bucks or one another for those items and resources that oftentimes become more and more scarce as time goes by. Now, I know that these messages can be difficult conceptually, but when we listen to these messages and understand that there is a possibility of partnership among the corporations to do the right thing, in some cases, maybe acquiring the existing resources might be better than acquiring new resources to produce more abundant existing resources. I guess what I'm saying is we, we might have a corporation in one era that might for a first time ever take a stance and say, you know what, in observation of the goals that we're attempting to achieve, what would happen if we took all of the vintage guitars, worn guitars, fire damaged guitars, and found ways to restore these items? Would that offset any of the carbon footprint going forward? I hesitate to even contemplate about something like that because it's a big idea. And it seems like based on what I've been told in the past, we'll never be able to achieve those levels of change without voting somebody into office. In this scenario of this global ecosphere, where we're all living on this planet together right now, we can put together brand new specialty, one-off, unique custom items. And it can be valued for the rest of that person who acquires that item's life for a lifetime. So many things that we do in life are not contemplated in manners of lifetime. In fact, 
just while I was eating dinner last night, I thought about the lifetime of the animal that I consumed. And I thought deeply about the fact that the very underpinnings of the message of peace, which often cir circle around an upcoming event, Lent, for an example, often go undervalued, not like as if we want to accept that way for a lifetime. I absolutely appreciate the fact that I had an opportunity in my lifespan to grow up when our families would get together, particularly during times of challenge. And I also have been around for long enough to witness the transition of cassette tape to CDs, to mini discs, to electronic formats, which basically only require the resources that are already abundantly strewn about in network service centers throughout the globe. I understand that me producing this video is consuming some type of content that's also being stored somewhere, which means that there's more hardware that's being maintained on my behalf in order to be on us too, <laughs> on YouTube. I'm sharing this message thinking how funny it would be if somebody actually saw this and understood what it was that I was asking for this upcoming Lent among my friends and family. And if somebody stepped in and clicked on the description, read a little bit, added their own comments, shared something, I wondered just how quickly we could manifest a more holistic miracle. Some of the miracles that we've been hoping for and preaching about in the past have nothing to do with anything except for lip service. Lip service is something that we can appreciate as a temporary fleeting opportunity, no matter what format we consider that lip service in. What we don't often consider is the lifetime that comes from something that we would appreciate if we truly loved it. Love is love. We can be in love all the time and with everything, with new items with replacement items that were pretty much exactly the same as the one before, except for this one's not damaged, but it has some adornments on it that I don't a hundred percent want to keep on there because they don't look, they look out of place to me. What if there were a shop that took into consideration all of these things helped to restore items, but it wasn't a shop. What if it was a corporation? What if there was an individual who saw all of the components of things that didn't quite go together and stopped trying to piece together scenarios that just don't work together? What if the value of attention was given to life itself? And what if life itself was put into in order among all of the things that we give order to such that we would be able to value our lives while we are here with one another. So for the purpose of this video, what I'm gonna do is upload things sort of out of order. I'm gonna talk about Lent, going without meat, going without, you know, just all kinds of things, but mostly going without any of this notion of social media. If I see anybody in my life, it's gonna be in real life. And that's going to be for the period of Lent, so far as what I'm going to attempt. Whether I'm able to achieve it in that specific way or not is yet to be determined as far as what exceptions I'm going to make to continue communication with those who attempt to communicate with me. I don't want to avoid any of the communications that occur. I don't want to put off any of the work that needs to happen. What I want to do is put into perspective what if the world gave just a little bit more thanks? Would, this, would this, the topics that someone like me is talking about, or anyone, 
is talking, but with the teachings of a peaceful leader, such as the one talked about in the Bible, named as Jesus, would the teachings of Jesus be understood in this era? Or are we all too grown up to even hear a new story or even a new old story? One that's been told before. Like knocking on heaven's door, for an example. This song is so controversial that it has driven away some of the people who would listen to this song because it says, that cold black cloud is coming down, feels like I'm knocking on heaven's door. For some who might hear that, it could be deemed offensive because shouldn't it be a bright white light that's beaming down as we come closer to the end of our worldly experience where we get to join our fellow spirits of enthusiasm? Does that even happen? <laughs> I'll tell you what, the more I think about something like that being a possibility, the more I give thanks for the lives that absolutely have gone into filling me with the energy that it takes to tell this story and with all of the little intricate connections that have allowed us to communicate together, finally, do any of these things make me want to go and kill my brother? Or would I want to learn everything I could from my brother, from my fathers, from my sisters, from our mothers? I would love to learn as much as I can and continue to be educated in this world, in this manner, where the education goes in all directions, not just in one direction, in all directions. And for that purpose, again, I'm going on a journey here. The Jeep Journals is showcasing a bunch of guitars right now, a bunch of my guitars. This is my private stock of guitars that I'm taking in and then trying to either restore to their proper, proper level of restoration to what it should be and to find where these items actually belong. Did they belong with me? Am I the player of these instruments who is here to present this music to you? If I am, then I would appreciate a thumbs up. If I'm not, give me the thumbs down, that's fine. If you like the topic, give me a thumbs up. Remember, these are props, props that we can use if we have a heart, if we have a childlike intuition to do something, to learn something new, then we're gonna be learning with one another and we are not gonna have any difficulties communicating because the communication will go such that the ego is not involved. The ego can become offended at so many different things. The mistakes I made in the song could prevent me from uploading these very thoughts of what I think are happiness and joy. The inability to further these communications with some of who I formerly would have attributed as the smartest people in my life, the inability to communicate with such individuals has caused me just enough pause to wonder, why is it that when we talk about anything that is not just topical information, we get scared? Was that taught to us? And why can't we go past that? So, these are the thoughts that came to me last night. I actually had recorded something that was beautiful. It was beautiful. I know that it would have moved many, many people, many more than what this is gonna do. And at the same time, maybe I was too sad when I presented it because the thought that caused me to break down and communicate these thoughts into my device, which did not capture any of the content that it had said it was recording, perhaps, the sadness alone would have caused the message to be ineffective. And the thought that had come to me last night, which caused all of this difficult presentation, 
was that I was eating something that had a life. And I know that that life took many, many moons to grow. And in order to grow that life, there had to be plenty of feed, which is being grown on lands, lands that are crying out for help. And if during this upcoming Lent, we do not consider that our participation in the earnings of this amazingly beautiful globe, if we do not consider that our participation is required to even earn this place, what right do we have to earn the most beautiful, perfect place? So if the words of this song are offensive, then it's possible that the words that I'm talking about right now are also offensive. But the words of this song, which many of us have listened to peacefully in the past, are such that I made two renditions. This will be the third, but it's going to be presented probably first. Two renditions of this song. And I felt so moved when I listened to them with the audio only. When I turned off, when I closed my eyes and just watched, I guess heard, when I heard with my own ears the song I was singing, I thought, my God, I'm singing. <laughs> you know, this is the kind of stuff that I know would make my dad smile. And the difficult part about this is that we're not able to smile together even though he's in the same city as me. For much of the communication that we have, the difficulties between one party and the other, I can assure you that as long as we remain calm, somebody will eventually get the message that's intended for them. The question is whether it'll be too late. Will we have already gone to an extreme level of war? Will even these communication channels be shut off before they can make their mark? You know? We really don't know. And so for that reason, I sing my life every day. And some people kind of mishear what I'm saying. And that alone is the reason why I want to share these songs and share this music. I've always been bashful, and especially because I've been told that I was not good at many of the things that I've done. And that it's probably true. <laughs> I'm one of the least coordinated people probably on this earth. I'm a big, you know, kind of lumbering guy right now. Usually in my better, healthier version, I'm a trim and fairly athletic person. During this era, while communication has fallen apart, it seems that I myself have taken too much from the till. So, and I can say I've taken too much, and I can also say I've taken what was given to me, and I've done with it the best that I could. And now, I also know that we can do better. I know that we can all do better, not just one manufacturer, not just one corporation, I know that the systems are already in place for us to change the entire future. And it doesn't take billions of dollars. Health is wealth. It doesn't take hardly anything except for a healthy attitude, continued progress in the direction of the results that you wish to achieve. Everyone knows this to be true. What nobody ever sees is a responsible party following through on what they say. I understand what addiction is. Addiction can be in any form. Any form of consumption, whether that's entertainment or food or chemicals. And addiction is just as pervasive at the innocent level as it is at those levels that people can be cited for and incarcerated for. 
All of this is something that we can pause to consider during this Lent season. We can give thanks to one another. We can recognize whether or not someone is struggling. And we can do our best to bring things together in ways that make sense. In my particular field of work, where I'm struggling is to gain the awareness of others in my field which who might want to be aware, want to become aware that there is a significant, significant decline in nature right now. And it's happening so much and so readily that some of us aren't giving pause, giving a, giving a time out to look at these things as they are happening. Now today, I think it's gonna be in the 40s. By next week, it's gonna be probably in the 60s or 70s. It was just in, in the mid 80s last week and then in the 40s, like the following day. I've seen the insects and the devastation to the insects. I've seen some of the migrations that are occurring here and there that are attempting to occur. And I see the birds, the hungry birds that are no longer in the wilderness areas, but they're now in the residential areas. I've seen the news articles that talk about these same concepts. I've shared this information as much as I can. And pretty much I was kind of laughed off of certain channels, even channels of camaraderie that were centered around music. This whole channel, if you look back, you can see a lot of, a lot of heartbreak and you can see why my face is suddenly not smiling. And then you can see, ah, but then there was a ray of light. <laughs> the bright white light was shining down. It felt like I was knocking on heaven's door. The closer I got to understanding my relationship with the creator, closer I got to understanding my relationship and my stewardship requirements and duties in my own sphere. A lot of us believe that some people are touching spheres too far outside of their own concept, if their own, their own constraints. But is it stepping out of bounds to try to bring shoes across the border to people who don't have shoes, who don't have nearby resources to get those items? Is it greedy to want to play the instruments that are just hanging on the walls that people aren't playing? For some, it might be. If I was just collecting these things and letting them collect dust, maybe. And, and probably sure, this should be a shared resource. Maybe this should be a school of guitar. I really don't know. In the world today, the resources are such that unless we can figure out a way to share and stop the destruction of the, stop the shelling out, the shelling and shelling out for resources that we're, quite frankly, we're tapped out at and we don't know how to make an income without continuing to sell those things. And if we don't sell them, how are we gonna make an income? What about it, Father? If you just sat down for a little while and heard a song with me, do you think that would pass the time in a momentous way? Would it be something else if our fathers sat and listened with us for a little while while there was still time? Would it be something else if our mothers and fathers understood that indifference is the absence of consideration, which means the lack of love. And when we love someone or somebody or something, we love it forever and we recognize it forever. You can give a toddler a toy they had as a child, as an infant, and that's gonna transport them into a feeling that they may not have had before. So this song, more than any of the other songs, I heard myself singing it, I understood that is how I talk with my market. The only way that's gonna happen is if my friends and family consider, I'm just trying to talk with my own dad. You know, my, my wish to heal the world, it's kind of small, but in order to get to the source 
of the destruction that has been caused between the communication of the indifferent and myself, I feel as if I'll need a little bit of crowd participation to gain the secondary approval of my own father, just for an example, who probably should have been the primary person giving me the approval to begin with. So this journey is a really intricate one. This is YouTube. And so a lot of the story I'm sharing is absolutely personal and it spills out into all these directions, talking about fasting, being thankful. And we can all wonder, is this guy for real? Well, all I gotta say is again, this is the final video of this portion of the segment that I'm gonna record. I'm already relaxed about it. I understand now why I recorded so many little minute long and more nature clips. It's because I'm going to intermission again. And for my tech intermission, I wanted to bring some music and the second stage performances will occur probably by my, my uh, most talented musician that I know here, myself. <laughs> and and I, I would like to have a strong, favorable appearance um, in terms of how that health recovery occurred while I was practicing what was being preached during the fasting period of Lent, which is coming up. So if all of this sounded too complicated and all that, well, stay tuned for the next two versions of this song. They're a little bit simpler. They don't beat around the bush in a way that talks about what I'm going to be doing rather than showing what I'm going to be doing. They just do what comes to heart. In this particular case, last night, I was thinking about something rather deeply. Uh, some people might call that prayer um, when you want to resolve troubles, like let's say health troubles, you'll pray greatly about health. And when you pray, you're in a state of constantly focusing on that. And when you focus on that, your mind starts to do interesting things. You can go to sleep dreaming about resolving the problem. At my healthiest, I remember in my dreams, passing by all the corporate feasts that were on top of the filing cabinets, not grabbing those items of consumption. I chose, I chose differently. It doesn't mean that I didn't, you know, have the opportunity to enjoy it or that I frowned upon it. It just meant as a child of the creator, I had a choice. And knowing that my father was listening, I could only do it in one way. And that was the way that would be respectable. And even if it was misunderstood from a different point of view, I know that my father would be able to communicate with me in order to resolve this because my father loves me. You understand where I'm coming from? So with all of this being said, during this period of Lent, I'm gonna go into a period of fasting from even from this channel. So everything that I've scheduled will have occurred prior to that point in time. And, um, I don't even know that I'll log on to receive any or acknowledge any comments. I mostly just wanted to share this message here. Uh, I know it sounds, again, it sounds trivial, um, depending on how you're listening to it, but maybe I'm just saying that from my own ego. Maybe it also sounds valiant because this is how our adventure works. This is how our choose your own adventure works on this interface on this rendition of the life that we are all sharing, whether it's on the tube or in real life. So again, thought this would be a simple message. Um, the song itself was so simple that I could sing it and uh, so simple that I could remember the lyrics like right in one take. Um, that's, that's the power of music. Music will bring together segments for some purpose and that purpose is going to be more than likely constructive the power of an artist is to create even to create something from the most abstract and obscure things around them 
In all of the beauty, there's also ugliness. And in all of the ugliness is also beauty shining through. So to tell the story sometimes takes a calm approach where we're not stressed out. And music has helped me to be the most calm and the most focused during this period of time. For some people it's reading. I read quite a lot as well now. For some people, it's hiking, walking in nature. I, I try to do that. Usually I'm pretty tough, uh, but the weather has been so interesting that I believe it took a toll on me physically. And at the same time, I feel my strength rebounding. And I believe that it'll rebound even further as I give stronger consideration to this period of Lent and what it all means. What does it mean to you and I and our innards. Did you hear that? <laughs> My throat gurgled. Synchronicities. Anyway, on that note, until next time, stay tuned. I look forward to your return and to my return onto this channel because I will have visited the Big Bend Ranch State Park during that time frame. And I will have some information to present to you. And I think that it'll be a lot of wildlife and nature that you get to see. I hope. I know it's been, again, difficult, but the, so far the weather is looking like it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the perfect time to be in Big Bend, to be enjoying the wildflowers and all of the different critters that come about to receive them. It's going to be magnificent. And I would love to be there with my best friends. And I hope that this will always be the case. And in a way, I know it will. So until next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff. <laughs>